vitamins and history books Psychology and a different way to look at it all Cause my perspective is broken Suffering's a way to earn your keep I better start putting miles on Good morning It's, uh, well, not morning, it's midday and uh, it's right now when the, when the sun is like the harshest uh, but I decided I didn't go for a walk to the pharmacy to the village yesterday I needed to go get something from the pharmacy that uh, B complex that I was telling you about but I didn't go my back is better though but I'm walking now and I really don't know what possessed me to go in the middle of the day by foot however the weather is getting better it's um, I was <laughs> I was editing uh, the video from uh, basically came out yesterday but that happened two days ago when we were taking Nicola to uh, to to the airport in the middle of the night and he was wearing this uh, puffer jacket now he was wearing the puffer jacket because uh, he didn't have place where to put it in the in, in his suitcase but uh, it definitely doesn't warrant uh, that uh, <laughs> that kind of clothes right now the weather is getting better and uh, right now it's about 28 degrees which I don't know exactly what it is in Fahrenheit so when I'm editing the video if I remember I'm gonna put, put it in Fahrenheit but uh, 28 degrees it's okay we're good um, it's hot but considering that our temperatures in the summer here are like 40 degrees and something like that the moment that we go below 36 we're like okay I can breathe now even though it's still very hot I can breathe now when it's uh, when it's above uh, above 36 then it gets really really difficult oh it's getting windy also considering that it's uh, this uh, middle of the day and the sun, the light is so harsh I have no idea how my face is going to come out on camera because I realized that uh, when I record and if the sun is harsh somehow it's like it goes underneath your wrinkles that you don't even see with normal eye and just kind of like illuminates them from inside and I look 10 years older <laughs> so I, I have no idea how I'm, uh, how I'm coming out now because I can't even see in the, in the viewfinder but it's okay let me just show you here where I came do you see all these bamboo let me turn the camera on and it's just uh, on the side of the road and it's quite a large actually area that uh, it covers it it uh, this is just the beginning and very often like I would see here at the bottom I would see snake skins so this is like a playing ground for them that's uh, <laughs> they love this uh, part This type of bougainvillea is my favorite and I was thinking to put it uh, in my house to plant it. The problem is, is that uh, those flowers fall off and they make a lot of mess. But it's really, really pretty and I think it would look beautiful above, uh, above the trellis in front of my kitchen. Normally there are chickens here running, uh, running around all the time I don't see them now maybe it's a bit uh, too hot for them or I do see one maybe in the background they enclose them maybe for for today but they are usually in this field just running around and this field is just bare and full of uh, olive trees but this house that has the chickens they sell uh, fresh eggs so we we sometimes buy from them and I was thinking that it might be nice actually it was Mario's idea that it might be nice to make uh, homemade mayonnaise with those fresh eggs and our uh, and our olive oil from our tree
have showed you here how I keep uh, my teas. I have two of these. This is for English tea and, uh, and the other ones are for herbal. So basically this is just a pot from, uh, a plant pot from Ikea. And I got this a while ago, but then what I did, I, I made this, I made this lid. So it's like two pieces of wood. So one is the larger one for the outer brim and then one is the smaller one for the inside brim and I connected them together uh, I, I think I did this on my laser cutter but or on my sc scroll saw because I engraved it on the laser cutter if you can see the engraving I don't know if the camera will pick it up but either way you could do that with uh, those very small uh, saws and then I connected it with the door knob basically for the cupboards. The knob I also got it from IKEA. This one is a bit dirty, I should clean it. And then what, what happens is you get this. So from a simple plant pot, I make it into a nice uh, kitchen jar that that looks really really pretty. Too strong. So, uh, are you going to put this on now uh, to no, cook no. for Alex or later? What I'm thinking is uh, before I, it's like I'm gonna clean the whole house uh, through this of October. It's like before I put uh, the salt in the in the shaker, I saw that uh, the shaker was like really dirty, so I cleaned it. Now I uh, I was putting tea in this jar and I saw that uh, the the handle was really dirty, mm -hmm. and I was like, before you know it, before the October finish, the October finishes, it's like I'm gonna clean the whole house. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, here is clean and handmade, semi handmade, babe, you're too low, and semi handmade. Um, you messed me up, Mario. I lost oh, my train of thought now. Too. Okay. Sorry. So yeah, so here is clean and uh, semi handmade. Tea jar. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. The sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope What if the wind could spread your love? 
What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. I sent Mario and Alex to, to the bedroom while well, Alex was already in his bedroom and Mario had lunch that I made and he went to the bedroom so I, so I can record. Yeah, I, I made uh, this borscht soup, which I think is a Russian, uh, Russian soup. And uh, I tried it first time a couple of years ago. A friend of ours made it for us. She's Russian and, uh, and I really liked it. So uh, there is a way to make it in this uh, machine that I was telling you, Thermomix. And please, this is really, 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 when I'm talking about uh, Thermomix, right now as I'm recording, this is not sponsored. But I'm really happy with, uh, with that gadget, with that kitchen gadget. And um, it's really useful for me especially because I, I'm not such a great cook. But everything that uh, I make in that just comes out amazing because it does take you step by step and it tells you and it has everything really in listen I'm not gonna I'm not gonna explain to you about uh, Thermomix I mean I might make a video one time uh, why I like it but uh, I just want you to know that it's not sponsored at all and uh, so this is completely my opinion and I'm going to link either their website, but I think they have different websites for different countries. Or what I can do, I can, if you're interested, I can just link their YouTube channel. So, uh, so you can check it out uh, by yourself if you like it and then see in your own country if you can get it or so. But as far as I'm concerned, a great, a great product. Um, so yeah, I made uh, I made borscht. Uh, Mario ate. I didn't eat. I usually I rarely eat during the day. Uh, I eat uh, in the evening. Somebody was uh, also a few people actually comment about me putting the butter in my uh, coffee. I put butter in my uh, first coffee of the day because I have low blood sugar. And uh, what happens is that I get a lot of sugar crashes throughout the day and I don't eat a lot of sweets, but because I have low blood sugar, uh, I have a lot of crashes during the day. And a friend of mine told me to try this because butter, fat, is, uh, it releases energy slowly. So he told me to try to do that. And ever since I started doing that, really my, um, I don't have any sugar crashes uh, during the day. So, you know, I have that in the morning and then I can eat uh, later on because even when I space out my meals throughout the day, you know, if, uh, if, I, if I don't have this, I do, if I don't have the butter in my coffee, even if I eat regularly, I still get those, uh, those crashes very quickly after I eat. And this works for me. You can experiment by yourself. But uh, uh, some people, they were commenting uh, that, you know, it's strange that they never saw somebody putting butter in their coffee. Let me show you what, uh, what I did. Uh, I made, oh, I made this. Uh, okay, yeah. I've, I worked a bit on my mom's jumper last night. Not as much as I thought I would, because yesterday my back was not okay, but I didn't actually end up, um, I didn't actually end up knitting that much for some reason. I was knitting mostly in the night, knitted a bit during the day, but mostly in the night. And this is how far I got. But this is the body, so it's, it's quite, it's a large circumference. And look at this stitch marker, uh, the turtle one. I don't have them in the shop yet. I didn't have time to make them. But how cute is this thing? I love the, these stitch markers. Uh, I didn't make them yet for the shop, but when I do, I, I, will, uh, I will tell you.
and my mom was saying about this one the progress keeper that it goes nice uh, with the jumper she, she really liked how it went with the jumper and I thought maybe I can make her some earrings or a cuff bracelet in those kind of similar colors so when she she wears this jumper she can put that on I didn't show you I don't think I showed you some of the stitch markers that I have in the shop there is only a few left I kind of uh, when I opened the shop I kind of told you everything that was in it and then ever since then I've been adding a bit here and there but didn't really sh I don't really show you and I should I should kind of make it a habit of showing you each time what I add but I didn't add anything now but I'll show you what I do have and uh, they're going down the quantities but this, uh, this stitch marker that is, these I have the most of, uh, these are the Tiger stitch markers, uh, these are Progress Keepers, which I pair with these Tiger Eye stitch markers. So the, the Progress Keeper and those stitch markers go with it. I have some that are like this but black and white and they are paired with uh, white lava stone stitch markers. I think there is only one of this. So this is one stitch marker that is the ceramic bead if I'm catching it it's the ceramic bead and the rest are resin progress keepers but they are on uh, these French lever backs so you can use them as the progress keeper but also you can use them as uh, stitch markers whereas the ceramic bead with uh, white with black flowers that's just a stitch marker as an accent stitch marker and I have a few pieces of these they come in separate sets smaller uh, they're purple so this one is a ceramic stitch marker and uh, two progress keepers resin but again on French lever backs this is teardrop and circle shape and this one is the same but with oval and hexagonal shape and I have only a few of these that's just pretty much I think that's what's left in the shop I'm going to add some more things but I didn't I didn't have the time and I didn't open this shop in order to have the pressure on myself to constantly work but uh, I will I have some more hand spun yarn that uh, I need to put and the shawl that I'm going to finish weaving and uh, spinning fiber but you will probably follow me along as I go so the jumper for my mom, I, uh, I, I worked on it, however I spoke to her and she told me not to be in a hurry, she says don't worry about it, that uh, even if I don't finish it, that she has enough, enough jumpers to keep her warm and the ones that I made as well, the ones that I made, she has enough uh, uh, jumpers to keep her warm when they go to Belgrade and that if I don't manage to finish this one that it can just wait for her and uh, she can wear it when, when they come back. So she told me that even though I continued working on it, I wanted to change a bit uh, for my hands, the feel of my hands uh, for the needles because these are four millimeter needles and they're easy on my hands, but I just felt like I wanted to change. And because yesterday I divided the, that uh, red, um, that brick yarn that I made Mario socks in, I divided them into two equal uh, balls. They don't look equal, but the weight is equal because this was done on the winder, winder and this one I have uh, uh, done it, uh, did it by hand, so it's tighter. So I, I split this into two equal parts, so I have for two socks ready. And then I thought, okay, I have uh, some other yarn that I have like that in that state so I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same and I did it with this uh, regia striped uh, it's like bumblebee black and yellow so I separated uh, whatever I had left into two equal parts and I had I think I had 50 grams so I separated it in 25 grams each and I started making a pair of socks for Mario again 
Um, so here are the socks that I started. It was just a nice uh, little kind of, you know, um, how do you, oh, I'm losing it now. It's nice like a little break for, to change the, the needle, the needle size and the size of the project uh, that I were working on. So I just did a bit of this last night. And Regia, I, uh, I worked with this uh, yarn before, that's why I only had half a ball left. Last year I made for Alex, it was going to be for Alex, and it still is, but I only made a tube. And it was towards the end of the winter and it wasn't really cold, so I didn't cut in the heel for him, I asked him. I asked him if he wants it or should we wait for next year. And he said to wait for next year, which is just as well, because he grew so much in this one year that uh, he's taller than me now. So I'm glad that I didn't cut in the heel, but I can do it uh, this year according to his foot size. So this is, those are the, that half of uh, that 100 gram ball that I used. And I made these tubes. So now I'm, uh, I'm going to, when the time approaches for the winter, I'm going to cut in the heel for Alex so he has for the winter and I'm using the other half of the ball to make uh, socks for Mario. I'm mixing, I'm adding some uh, black for the cuffs, toes and heels and I think this one is Cascade Heritage but I think I have some drops north as, as well. I checked, uh, I checked on Lovecrafts where I usually buy it from because they had large sale, sale now. Uh, they are pretty much uh, sold out of most of the things. But I do have a notify button if you want uh, to be notified when it comes in stock. So I'm going to link, uh, link this at the, at the bottom uh, in the description. I'm going to link this yarn if you like it and if you are interested for later on. I really like them. Regia is a bit, uh, it's a bit rougher yarn for socks, but from what I heard it's bulletproof, that it's, it's not scratchy, not at all, it's just a bit rougher, it's not that really, really soft like those superwash uh, yarns that, uh, that, that we buy for socks. It's, it feels more rustic and more dry, but not itchy. However, I heard some very, very good reviews, uh, reviews about it. So that's that as far as making is concerned. I did want to answer uh, one, uh, well, to start answering, to continue answering the questions. And uh, it was asked for me before and it was asked again. So then I thought like um, to, to answer each time maybe one question if I have time in the video. I really don't know how long this one is going to be. Hey, Jake. Hey Jake, this question is my about my previous candle business and one woman that she wrote, woman wrote a year ago actually in that, um, she said would love to hear about your candle making process. I would like to try my hand at candle making in order to avoid the chemicals and artificial scents many uh, include. So. And the other one that I received recently just wanted me to talk more generally more about uh, about uh, my candle making business that I had before. So as far to answer this first one, as far as, as far as the fragrances are concerned, it's true that the fragrances used in the candles are usually chemical. The problem is, is that in order to use uh, essential oils, which are not chemical, the candle requires, because it becomes solid, it requires a large amount of fragrance. Uh, when I was making candles, I was using uh, perfume grade fragrances that are used in the perfume industry as the colognes, and, uh, but they were specifically made for candles from those manufacturers. But I know that a large amount of fragrance goes into the candle. So if you want to avoid artificial scents and chemical fragrances, I don't think candles is necessarily a way to go. 
if you want to if you're thinking health wise i would suggest get unscented candles that are um, natural so soy based uh, that don't really have paraffin and you can tell if they have paraffin is uh, if they smoke if the black smoke because that black smoke it burns the fragrance and the actual paraffin and if you put your finger in the candle in the wax and it kind of gets that hard thing on it and you can peel it off then it has paraffin uh, content in it so I suggest to go with the non-scented candles for uh, just for the atmosphere if you're worried about uh, health concerns and as far as the fragrance get yourself an aroma lamp uh, I think you can find them everywhere I got mine in Amazon I, that was ages ago I can't link it, link it. if I find some that, uh, that, that I might link them but you can find them anywhere so it's a aroma lamp you will put uh, the water in it and it's going to evaporate like uh, it kind of heats that water it evaporates but what you do you put a few drops of essential oil inside you can even get uh, candle making uh, fragrance and you can put a few drops in there but what you would get the aroma that you would get dispersed through the room is much much uh, um, you will get the same effect with much less fragrance than if it was in the candle I wanted to continue uh, telling you more about my business but I see that the battery is gone so uh, I'm going to close it here and probably tell you more about uh, about my candle making business uh, probably tomorrow okay bye for now thank you for watching and bye for now